They say time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Yo ho ho sha! What is up Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm wearing my favorite shirt today. This is my favorite shirt. Check it out. You know this one? You know this shirt? You guys know this shirt? What else? Guess what else I'm gonna do? <gasps> Breathe. That's right. It's another story time. Shrip em. Joku's shrip em story time. So I don't know if you guys have seen any of these yet, but I've been doing this thing where you know I come in here and I tell you guys a little story while shrip em some packs, and that's what I'm gonna do today. And if you want to subscribe, it would be really cool. But if you don't, that's fine. It's just not as cool. Now let's shrip him this thing. And today's story, this is a little bit of a different story. This is not so much like, um, well, this is maybe a story that leads into something different. Oh yeah. Also one piece romance Dawn. I don't know if you guys know, but I love opening these boxes. <laughs> I'm not, this might be the last one or maybe second to last one. I'm almost out of these, but I figured I'd come strip him here. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a Yamato in this box anyway, but it's cool. I love Yamato and she's on my shirt. If it's an altar, that'd be crazy. I don't think it is. But these box ra ratios have been weird because I got 12 boxes and they weren't all from the same case, but I don't know. There were three altar leaders, so bless them. And uh, I'm just gonna shuffle some of these packs up and tell you a little bit about today's story. So today's story is a little bit more um, actually like my theory on life and like the meaning of life and um how life works and stuff like that so uh definitely a different approach to story but i hope you guys enjoy it and i would love to hear your feedback on your thoughts about it and if you've had any ideas about this stuff um so basically this story starts with a pretty uh a pretty sad thing happened when i was 18 years old my um my best my best friend in high school passed away and it really shook me up pretty bad. I was pretty depressed for my first year of undergrad. I was having a hard time making friends. Um, it was just rough. It was all around really rough. And um, I knew I wanted to be a dentist at this point in life. And I was taking all the course requirements I needed to get into dental school. And um, I realized that um, I need to take a lot of science classes. So I was taking a lot of science classes. I was taking a lot of art classes and I was also taking this class called Qigong. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Qigong, but Qigong is basically a uh, study of how to use the energy in your body by controlling your breath. It, it basically, when I first heard of it, I was like, okay, this explains Dragon Ball. This is how, this is how Dragon Ball works. So this is pretty cool. So I was really into Qigong and uh, I was taking different sciences and, you know, taking some art courses and, <laughs> what 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 alt art kaido okay this is craziness this is crazy i'm glad i opened this box that means there's another alt art in here which means it could be an alt art yamato because once i did get an alt art kaido and an alt art yamato that would be wild wild okay great box for my story of life this is very exciting thank you so much for coming out of this pack Wow, I'm gonna just leave that right there. That's great looking. That's a great looking card. Great looking card to pull, and all this stuff's going crazy in value. Also, I mean, probably be more valuable if I just cut the box seal, but it's too fun to strip them. Anyway, back to my story. So, um, so yeah, I was taking all these science classes, and in every science class I was taking, I kept learning about these different uh, things, like the sound spectrum and the light spectrum and the uh, taste spectrum, touch spectrum. All these things. There are all these spectrums. And it was all like, okay, this is what we perceive. Here's like the visible light spectrum. It's like 300 nanometers, right? Which is like a nanometer is 10 to the minus ninth. That's really small. That's a really small unit of measurement. And, and our visible light is like, you know, 400 of those. I think it's like 300 to 700 or something. And it's different for different people key key there different for different people but same with hearing hearing i don't know if you guys like the sound measurements uh decibels right decibels are logarithmic logarithmic is like base 10 everything's to the negative base 10th power so it's very very small all of these sensual sensual perceptions that we have are very very small and and while i was taking chemistry we were learning about atomic structure right and atomic structure is like you have protons neutrons and electrons and the electrons are these tiny little things that could potentially be somewhere that you could calculate but you can't really calculate the speed but if you calculate the speed you can't really calculate where they are but you know they're generally in some area right so i started thinking about life and existence and what the experience is and time you know they say time flies like an arrow fruit flies like a banana Anyway, I'll be here for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, there's um, 
time is this thing it's this thing that we experience right and the thing that happens in time is we have sensory perception over the course of time right we oh croca boy what's your secret talking about sensual perception a croca boy um right we experience stuff with our eyes and ears our mouth our nose and like the experience of these things is kind of what creates the byproduct of time right because we're experiencing and then the time is like this this thing that happens through the experience or over the experience so um, I, uh, I started thinking and trying to model the universe, right? Because if, if we're only perceiving these small portions of these spectra, that means there's all this other energy out there, right? There's this massive amount of other energy that exists in the universe that we just can't even know anything about other than our ability to maybe study it with some different kind of, uh, cameras or, uh, or, acoustic measuring devices you know we can we can we know some of these things are out there but we don't perceive them with our regular senses yo king that's that's two sr so there's gonna be one sr and there's gonna be an altar nami as altar or ya nami yamato or boa if i can get a waifu altar in here i will be this will be the best last box of op01 to open for me Anyway, so, right, we have these uh, sensory perceptions and they're these tiny, tiny little things, which means like there's so much more out there in the universe. And I think if we were to perceive all those things, it would basically just overwhelm us and we wouldn't even be able to understand what the heck is going on because time wouldn't exist. And without time, we can't have the experience of what we do, right? So what does that all mean? That, right, there's like, if, we, if we're trying to model ourselves at, in this at atomic, right, it, it is as an atom, which I like to do in, in science, you, you take things and you model them, you create models so you can better understand them. So let's take the existence of, of, hum, of being a human and, and measure it relative to an atom, right? So an atom has these electron clouds where these electrons are spinning around at these random speeds. And we, we're kind of like an electron there, right? Because we could take a picture and know like what that looked like but we can't actually feel the sensory perception of what was there similar to like how an atom can be or an electron can be tracked in a specific place but you don't know at what speed it's moving or vice versa if you're in real time you, you won't actually fully remember exactly like what went down but you have an idea of it through the experience of your perception so I was thinking about this stuff and I was like, all right, what does it all mean, right? What, if, 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 if there's all this other energy out there and there's all this other stuff happening, like what is the purpose? What's the point, you know? What does it mean anything? And I kind of got to the conclusion that like it sort of, um, it sort of doesn't, right? In the grand scheme of the universe, the amount of impact that we're gonna have with whatever it is that we choose to do, it's not actually really gonna make that much of a difference. Even if we destroy the planet, like, on the scale of the universe how small the planet earth is it's not it doesn't matter you know it just doesn't so um i started thinking more and more about how you know what matters what doesn't matter and and i sort of came to this place to realize that like it's funny to pull this card right now because the things that matter were like my friends and my family right that's what makes me feel happy that's what brings me joy that's what i like and I like giving stuff to people because it makes me feel good. I like feeling good and I like uh, making jokes, right? So these are the things that give me some feeling of meaning. And, and I think in a life where on the grand scale, everything is actually kind of meaningless, it's nice to have some meaning to yourself in the terms of the things that you're actually doing. I just skip past this Luffy Dawn. There's Luffy Dawn, Luffy and Kaido hanging out. You know them, you know, those boys doing their thing. So finding the sources of meaning, I think, is a really valuable use of time. And for me, I get a lot of meaning after out of making these YouTube videos, actually. You know, I feel very passionate about the art that's in these games. I love the community that's developing. I make so many friends and it's so fun to Michael Bapo hang out and make jokes with you guys and appreciate this beautiful art that has developed from thousands of years of influence and interpretation and attempts at recreating some depiction of what this experience of time that we're that we're subject to is and it happened in this amazing story called one piece that i love so much and we all get to enjoy it together and now we have this card game that we get to look at this stuff and appreciate um so you know the combination of that and then what I get to do in my daily life and, you know, help people feel more comfortable with their smiles and 
pe keep people's mouths healthy that that really gives me a lot of purpose and meaning also so i think you know finding finding a means to be able to accomplish your goals while still being able to appreciate the day-to-day -day trivial things that happen and just have some type of you know something that just makes you feel better about what you're doing regularly and in a lot of ways this does it for me so i hope you guys can use that perspective in some way to um to amalgamate some form of something that feels good for you or you may already have oh croco boy all right double croco boy and two altar boxes both with croco boy or croqui is it boy luffy's mom so this is this this is it that's the altar that's what's in the box definitely wanted a uh i was i you know i felt like nami was gonna come out but i guess i was just I was wrong about that, but that's actually a good thing because I guess that means we get to strip them maybe one more for these story times until the next box of story times come out. But yeah, that's kind of my, that's my life. That's what I've been thinking. Oh, there should be another SR in here. I'm going to strip them until I get this other SR so we can see what it is. But, uh, but yeah, you know, um, I think just being able to live a life where you get to enjoy what you're doing and, uh, feel some, feel some form of use because on the grand scale of everything, you know, no one's actually really going to change much of anything. We're just going to be, and we're just going to exist and existing in a way that makes, oh, here's the blossom existing in a way that makes, uh, this ride more enjoyable for yourself and the people you care about. That seems to be kind of the most, uh, rewarding approach to this whole thing. So I hope you guys are doing that or able to find ways to do that. And if you have other ideas about this stuff, you know, comment about it. I'd love to hear. I do really feel like, you know, we're just these electrons spinning around in this wild ride of the earth lapping the sun until we ripen to the point where we just expire or, you know, something else happens, but that's kind of it, you know, and at the end of the day, the only person that you're going to be able to guarantee that you go to sleep with and wake up every single day of your life, no matter what, is you. So it's good to like that person and figuring out how you might be able to like that person best is, I also think, a good use of the time. So this is it. This is the SR. It's in this pack. It's guaranteed in this pack. I'm sure of it. I'm completely sure of it. Maybe it's Boa. Maybe we are going to get a Boa in this box, but this is going to be an SR and it is Mihawk. This is actually one of my favorite looking SRs, so cool one to pull. Wow, look at this. We got Double Croc and Mihawk. What a box. What a shrip em. What a box of shrip em. Box Hopper? Yeah, let's do it. Cat Viper? All the way. No, it's probably going to be like a who's who. Oh, Cat Viper! All the way! Right about something there. Thank you so much. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this shrip em story time. Uh, I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, if you're not happy with your smile, there's probably a way to fix it. Figure out how to fix it because it's fun to be able to laugh at jokes and enjoy the smile on your face. I hope you guys like my favorite shirts. Thank you so much. There, let's get a clear view of this at the end of story time. That's it. It's really stretchy. You might recognize this picture from my favorite trading card ever made in the history of mankind. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. God dang it. This thing almost gets stuck when I do that.